During the end credits of the first Cars movie, Disney and Pixar included carified versions of other Disney Pixar movies, such as Toy Story, A Bug's Life, and Monsters, Inc. And now here we have Yeti, the abominable snowplow that of course appeared in the carified version of Monsters, Inc. Now, in the actual Monsters, Inc. movie, there was an abominable snow monster, and therefore, Disney Pixar converted that into a snowplow. So, pretty ingenious on their part, and in return, Mattel released the cars shown in the carified movies as diecasts mainly throughout the early years of the diecast line in 2007 to 2008. And now in 2015, Mattel released all of the circus cars that appeared in the carified version of A Bug's Life as Super Chases. So that really completes all of the cars shown in the carified films. So now, let's get on with the birthday request for today. Happy Birthday Alien 7 Uncovered 2015. I hope you are having a great day today. And if you are watching this after your birthday, I hope you had a good day. And maybe you got some cars or planes for your birthday. Let me know in the comment section below. And now if you'd like, you can make a birthday request for yourself. Just let me know at least one month prior to your birthday. And now, without further ado, let's get on with the review of Yeti the Abominable Snowplow and Yeti with Snow Cones. So, originally in 2007, Yeti received his first release and then re-released a few times after that. But in the past few years, he has not been released at all. So, rendering him kind of rare, but he isn't as rare as Mike and Sully, who are also from the carified film Monsters, Inc. They are the main characters, of course. Now, these are pretty cool. I really do like these. I just wish that Mike here, or Sully, I mean, is should be a little bit larger. The body should be quite larger because the tires just are huge. It just don't really match up with the proportions. But I do really like them, and they all look kind of good together. And now Yeti here, he is just pretty cool. I have to say, I love the snow detailing on him. Kind of reminds me of the Ice Racers because of the similarity in the snow detailing on the treads there. As you can see on the blue treads there, there's quite a bit of snow detailing on top. It says Yet with the snow cone symbolizing the eye. Now up top here, I would assume those are some sort of vents. I'm not really sure, but since he is a snow plow, he probably would need such. Now up top here, we can see some pretty cool circle designs. I'm not really sure what this is. Actually, I do believe they are headlights. They're just kind of designed in a pretty cool and funky way. Now on the front here, his snowplow actually kind of moves and it kind of has quite a bit of mobility. You can kind of move it up and down, tilt it a little bit, and that is also detailed with some snow. I really do love his smile there. Extremely detailed with all the teeth and the inner mouth there. Also really like the treads. On the base here, there's nothing much. He does have four wheels right here, so he can roll. The treads do not work. They are just stationary. Now, the only part that is metal on him is the main portion, the cab right here. The treads and the snowplow are plastic. On the back here, we can see two exhaust pipes, I would assume, and nothing else. Just kind of what a back of a snowplow would really look like. Nothing too special. So that's pretty cool. I always really liked Yeti. He was probably one of my favorite cars as a child. Now in 2010, Yeti received a lenticular release as a version with snow cones and his regular version as well. So we'll get to the regular version in a second, but I just wanted to show him with snow cones. Now my only complaint is that I really, really wish that they released him non-lenticular. I think he would have made a great final lap collection release. But, nah, he was just released lenticularized, and I just really don't like it because at some stages you can kind of see three eyes, like right there, and it just looks kind of ugly in my opinion, and doesn't really fit in. But, 
Disregarding his eyes, he does have these three snow cones right here that are kind of fit in like a slot, kind of like a shelf that fit into his... Actually, his snow plow is completely different. It's built in a way to accommodate the shelf there for the snow cones there. And he only has three left. As you can see, there could have been five. There are holes for five of them. And they actually are pretty detailed. They're texturized, so you can kind of feel the ice cream or snow cone, I should say. So that's very nice, and it's just kind of odd that the snow plows are completely different shaped. As you can see, they are connected, or this snow plow here is connected in three spots. It's not really connected, but it has three extensions toward the back, whereas this one here just has kind of one main extension or two poles leading into the base. So they are quite a bit different. And I really do like that they continued on with the snow design. Very, very nice and detailed here. Really realistic to what it showed in the movie. And other than that, they are basically the same, just kind of different patterns in the snow design there. And now let's take a look at the lenticular version of Yeti. I'm not really sure how I got this. I might have gotten it as a present. So that's why I have the lenticular version of him because I probably wouldn't have picked it up. But I do have to say, the snow patterns on these two are extremely different. First, you can see that his plow, it looks like, it looks like Yeti on the left here, just walked out of the cave or whatever, and it just started the snow barely. And 10 minutes later, this is what happens. Like, his plow is covered in snow, and his treads are basically faded to white now. They don't really show much blue at all. So I just found that pretty interesting and how drastically the chain is in, change is in the treads here and the snowplow. So that's pretty cool. I have to say, out of all the lenticular release, I have to say this is kind of one of my favorites just because of how different it is from the original version. I just kind of ignore the eyes completely because that right there it just doesn't look good so that's all for today's video of the two variations of yeti the abominable snowplow thank you alien 7 uncovered 2015 for the request and again i hope you are having a great birthday so i'll see you guys all tomorrow for another in-store shopping vlog it'll actually be pretty nice i go from store to store looking for some new stuff mainly in search for 2016 case d so i hope you guys enjoyed that i'll see you guys all tomorrow bye now